We're back here at the Iowa Cattle Industry Leadership Summit, talking now with Matt Deppie, CEO of the Iowa Cattlemen's Association. Matt, thanks for having us out to the Leadership Summit this year. It's an exciting time for beef producers. Oh, it certainly is, Brent, and appreciate having you here. Well, tell our listeners a little bit about the event itself. Um, just some background. Is this an annual gathering that you folks have? A absolutely. It's an annual ga gathering. Uh, the couple things that I talk about, the reason that we want to be face-to-face, a uh, good opportunity to network, not only with Allied industry members, but other producers across the state. Um, this is the culmination of our year. Um, successes, failures, we talk about them all. And we talk about that forward path moving forward. And one of the ways we do that, we, we work on some policy positions of the organization uh, that we've informed all year and dot the I's, cross the T's, and then we go to work. I know it's only the first day, but I'm sure the conversations have already started. You know, what are some of the big topics right off the bat that producers are talking about here today? Well, just just for some of the conversations that I've personally had, uh, absolutely um, a lot of pats on the back in terms of the work collectively we're doing as an organization, as a membership related to uh, live cattle market challenges uh, for our producers. Uh, certainly uh, later on this afternoon we'll talk about product labeling, uh, beef labeling, whether that's MCOOL, product of the USA, you name it, in one of our policy committee meetings. And then not just on our survey, um, but tax reform has really, really infiltrated itself uh, as a concern to our membership, uh, knowing that uh, when we talk about the Build Back Better plan, um, they're really worried and concerned it's going to be built on their shoulders. And so uh, really I would expect quite a few conversations in the hallways, but also in policy committees that way, too. So I imagine those discussions aren't just here at the convention. I imagine these have been going on throughout the year then? Absolutely. And so uh, as we look at the Iowa Cattlemen's Association, our, our big two or three things that we really strive to do is, A, be that communications hub. And so we're constantly going through the files, going through the actions in D.C. on the state level, sometimes issues management type things, getting them out to producers so they're aware, trying to listen with their ear to see what they think about it. And then when it comes to we, we get a position, then it starts going into action mode. And our, our philosophy is putting the right leader in the right place, uh, um, and that right place is usually the table of decision making. Let's talk about membership again. Um, you know, how important is uh, the membership aspect for uh, the organization? And, you know, how, what do those efforts look like to try to gain new members? Yeah, so, Brent, it's in terms of gaining new members, I'll go into that in a little bit. But in terms of putting fuel in the gas tank um, and being impactful, ICA is a voluntary investment. So it's membership-based. We have some sponsorships for things like this, like Leadership Summit. Um, but it comes down to each and every year that producer has a referendum on the organization they invest in with uh, dollars and engagement and saying hey it's a good investment or it's not what we're seeing right now based on our engagement over the last two years on several topics not just live cattle marketing producers are seeing that this is a strong investment and so last year for instance we added 800 new members um, we would expect, we're hoping to add some more members. And it's important this way, Brent, when you put that number together, that whole herd together, and you put the right leader in the right place on topics that you've cussed, discussed, and commiserated on, and found a position of consensus that you can say all these folks are behind us, that makes the decision making for that influencer that you're trying to influence even easier. So, um, we were virtual last year, if I remember right. Is yep. it nice to be back in person? Absolutely is. So we're, we're, we're dealing with some masks uh, a little bit, um, but at the same time, uh, it's so important. You can read people's faces even better face-to-face -face than you can on the screen. And let's face it, you know, as we, we will have to do a bit more screen time and those types of things just because of what we just went through. Um, but, you know, as, as we talk to those folks in those meetings coming up, uh, we're really sensitive on the multitasking and that kind of thing. Um, we're, we're here to, to listen with our ear as best as possible. Again, dot the I's, cross the T's, and then afterwards, we're going to get the action. Well, hey, have a good convention, and uh, thanks for having us by. Thank you. Again, that's Matt Deppie, CEO of the Iowa Cattlemen's Association, here at the Iowa Cattle Leadership Summit for 2021.